To begin building your report, double click the software icon to open. If you've just extracted your files and your software program is already open, you can bypass this step. Click the Open File button to begin. Once the window populates, follow your chosen path directory to the location in which the file was saved during extraction. Double click the file you'd like to use for your test report. The program will open with the graph as shown here. On this particular file, the test was left running overnight, which created a skew in the graph. To correct this, I will demonstrate how to use our Advanced Features tab to crop the data using the test window before we begin the report builder. The Advanced tab is only to be used after reading the user manual and or after consulting a technical specialist. The program is designed to work with the tabs in order from left to right. We will begin with the Job Info tab and work our way to the end. The Job Info tab was created to allow the customer to input all relevant information about the job that they wish to document in their report. You are able to freely type in the white spaces that pertain to your application. Anything typed in the spaces is then saved for later use in the drop-down tab to save time in the event that you have repeat customers or jobs. The program does not limit you on the information you choose to type in the space. For example, if you do not wish to type an address, you can type things like weather conditions, humidity scales, test parameters, and more. All information typed in this window will populate on your cover page for your final report. And once you've finished inputting your information, you can click the Done button at the bottom right of the window. The next tab we will cover is the Test window. This feature was created to allow the customer to highlight a specific window of time on the graph where the test was performed. You'll notice that the black vertical dotted lines populate on the left and right of the graph borders. These lines can be moved to highlight a test window in one of two ways. You can move the lines by dragging them to the desired location. It will display the start and end time of the test as well as the total elapsed time of the test window. This is not to be confused with the log key, which will display the start and end time as well as the total elapsed time of the entire log. You also have the option to hide the test window in the event that it's not necessary to identify one. To do this, simply select the Hide option in the Test Window tab. The black lines will disappear from the graph and the Test Window key at the bottom of your screen will be removed. To put the lines back on the graph, simply go back to the test window and select the Show button. Note, the min and max key at the bottom of your program will change depending on whether or not the test window is activated. When activated, the min max key will display the min and max pressure values of your test during your test window. When inactive, the min max key at the bottom will display the min and max pressure values for the entire log. For our purposes today, I will leave them active. The Alarms tab operates the same way that you saw with the test window. You can drag the lines to the location you'd like, or you can manually type the values using the Set feature under the tab. You can also show or hide these lines on the graph and the alarm key at the bottom of the page will populate based on your selection. This feature was designed to allow the customer to visually represent his test parameters for the inspector. By placing the horizontal red dotted lines on the graph to reflect your min and max operating pressures, the inspector will be able to visually confirm that the blue pressure line stayed within its allowable working pressures during the length of your test. The next tab pertains to your test data. Here you can show all points taken or you can preview your data page. Please note if your samples were taken closely together and for a prolonged period of time, clicking the show points option could result in a solid black line, making the graph hard to read for the inspector as shown here. We recommend showing points only in the event that they were taken more than 15 minutes apart. The Notes tab is a unique feature to our program that was created to allow customers to add notes directly onto the graph. 
Select Add a Note and a window will populate for you to freely type your information. You can add things such as weather conditions, test parameters, identifiers, explanations, and more. Once done, select Include Timestamp and click Save. The note will populate at the bottom left corner of your graph. Click the note and drag to your desired location on the graph. Once there, you can hover over the note to read what you've typed. Double click the note to reopen and add more information or fix any typos. You can add as many notes to the graph as you like, and in the event you need to delete a note out of sequence, click the note and press delete on your keyboard. The program will automatically renumber the remaining notes. All notes added here will print in a notes page on your final report that will correspond to the numbers on the graph for easy reference. Another unique feature we've added to the program is the ability for the customer to upload their own custom documents, such as spec sheets, cover sheets, sign-off sheets, and more. Simply click Upload under the Add Attachment tab and select the PDF file from your PC that you'd like to include in your report. The program will only allow you to upload PDF files, so be sure to check your format before you attempt. The Graph tab allows you to preview your graph as well as change the paper size on which you'd like to print the graph. You can do this under the Options tab shown here. The final tab we'll cover is the Reports tab. This is where you can preview or format your report. Select the Format button to arrange each document in the position in which you'd like it to print. You can arrange the items by dragging and dropping them into the order you prefer, as shown here. In the event you want to exclude any item, such as the data table or cover sheet, simply select the Exclude box to the right of the section. Once you have all portions of the report in your desired order, click Done. You are now finished building your report. To save, go to the File tab and select Save Report. This saves the .rpt file, which you can use as a backup to reopen and reprint your report at any time. Once you've saved the .rpt file, go back into the File tab and select Export to PDF. The window will populate for you to save your PDF to your PC. Once saved, you can minimize the program and open the file on your PC to confirm it was successfully stored before exiting your software. You've now successfully completed building your custom hydrostatic test report, and that's all for this video.